All right, welcome back. So this is ARC or Advanced Research Complex or Advanced Reset Complex. It's, you know, another level. So uh, first couple things is uh, we're gonna be doing a glory kill skip and then also we're gonna be doing a fight to get to two different uh, skips. Now, I actually just before I started recording, I just checked some uh, strats because I didn't know if they were like the most up-to-date stuff. There are some new strats, but after some testing, this happened apparently in April, I was not aware of this, but in April there were some new strats that were found. Uh, there is apparently a very, very small change in um, how fast it is, but I wouldn't really do it because they're kind of insanely hard to pull off. I just tried doing them and I could not figure it out. Um, so there is a different way to do it, but anyway. Uh, kill these guys in this room when you get up to the, when you get through this area and Walk back up here through this bathroom Get up on top of here use your gauss cannon if you don't make this you can just kind of I think it, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure you can just kind of Yeah, just do that. Well I can't even bounce up. I've seen people do that. But anyway, just just do that. It's faster. You also conserve ammo. So make your way over here We're gonna get the secret room as well Oh yeah, right here. I guess, yeah, that's, that's the first room, yeah. And uh, yeah, just open up the door. And now I'm gonna do this because pe more, more people are doing this anyway. Um, I'm gonna kill everyone in this room. I'm gonna grab this, for some, just so I can get some ammo. If you don't wanna get this, don't do it. You don't really need it at all. Um, anyway, once you get that, hit the lockdown button, and these zombies will spawn in right over here. Now, we're going to be doing a glory kill skip. If you've done any percent, you know exactly what I'm about to do. Uh, but we're actually going to be falling into a fight. So, get this guy up against this wall. Hit him up against the wall, and when he's close enough... Oops, that didn't work. For some reason, I've been having some trouble here, so give me a second. So these guys keep on getting really, really close to me. There we go. There we go. Okay. When you're through the wall, just keep on pushing up and, uh, and keep on, yeah, just keep on jumping and moving forward and jump up here. And usually in any percent, you'd be jumping up to, to Dr. Tayden's office. We're not, we're not going to be doing that yet. Um, we'll do that. Well, actually, no, we're not even doing that at all. Never mind. So, yeah, just, uh, actually missed an invisible wall. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, once you're over here, jump up to this invisible wall right there and just drop down to that. The, uh, what is it called? A gore nest, I think it's called. Yeah. Kill that and start the fight. Now, I'm going to just do this as fast as I possibly can. I've been, like, I used to be really good at this fight, but recently because I had to de rust a couple weeks back, um, I haven't been as good as I used to be, so bear with me on this. But once you do the fight enough times, it, it becomes pretty quick. I also recommend you hit you get haste because it's just you know fast is cool. And again I'm also just using the uh, mainly the rocket launcher and, and super shotgun because it's the best weapons that do the most damage. But you don't have to use them. I am, I'm also picking out the uh, plasma rifle too. And then once you can kill this guy make sure you have enough uh, you have enough um, chainsaw ammo. So I grabbed some ammo if you saw um, in that one room and then just go over here and hit the button right there. And then when you get this, that door over there will open for you. Make your way over here, hit this airlock, and we're gonna be getting the uh, second secret, which is a rune. So make your way over here, get the secret, walk back over here. Also, sometimes this airlock will be really, really weird. It'll just keep on like wanting to cycle through, not letting you through. Um, once you get that, uh, I definitely suggest you make, you get this thing out to shoot these guys down because these guys are kind of jerks. And uh, I'm about to do a very, very cool strat, but I'm usually killing those guys because they can just be, they'll like when you're like flinging in the air, they'll get hit and they'll make you fall. So I'm about to hit that classic level lever. So just hit it, this, just get close to it like that. I like to make it look cool, so I did what I just did. Like you're about to fall, and like you just hit E, and there you go. 
And once you get that, um, just jump on top of this and then jump over here. Kill this guy because you missed him. And that guy too. Actually, I think they spawned in. Again, I'm, I'm killing them just because they're they're going to be annoying later. Uh, get that last well, that secret. And then we're going to be getting the other secret over here. So most of the secrets are actually in this area. And then there's one down here as well. Don't actually get that one because you'll actually run out of space. I believe, yeah, I believe you'll actually run out of space. So um, we're, we're needing one more secret, which is the classic level before we go, we actually enter the uh, facility, which is the uh, classic room. So get that one, go back over here. You can kill this guy if you want to. No, it's not really necessary. I'm just gonna do it because I may be slow just while I'm explaining stuff. Um, anyway, make your way back over here, grab this, just do it because it's, it's good ammo. And then jump in here before it closes. If it doesn't close, or if it closes on you, just ju jump over to that ledge and then wait for it. I usually like to time it because I think it's like every five seconds it opens up. Or is like about to open up. And then when you're ready, jump up here. Oops. Yeah, jump up here and ledge grab. There we go. And just get up here. And just make your way over here and turn off this and then we're going to jump down here and grab this guy we're actually not going to grab him we're just going to make sure we hit the secret thing for that and then just jump up back up here hit this thing back on and then we're going to fly up to the top and also, when, you, when we're up here, when we get a checkpoint up here, I'm going to load checkpoint just so I don't I can deload anyone I missed back there. Because sometimes these guys, even though they die, you can't actually load um, the uh, the, che the next section. Oh, good. The game crashed. <laughs> like I said earlier, it happens. Just got to bear with it. Oh man, that's really hard crash. There we go. Okay. It doesn't happen often. It, it just can happen. Just be prepared. Oh, thanks ta task manager for now opening up. So, at least my control delete, delete thing. Anyway, let this back up. Also, if the, um, so because Doom crashes a lot, we do not invalidate a run if the game crashes. Just make sure your timer is not going. Just pause it if you have to. But when, you, when you're in game, just unpause it because we do have a load remover. So it will not keep on going until you're actually in game. So we do allow it to happen it's going to happen sometimes for you all um so if it does don't worry just be prepared for that to happen sometimes on loads anyway i'm back over here so i may have to grab these things again nope okay we're good anyway so once you're over here walk through this room take out your super shotgun and your uh rocket launcher and i usually go on a right on the right side just go counterclockwise and kill everything in this room. Because I'm waiting on it on all the doors to open up once the, once this thing is out of lockdown. So I think I have like one more Oh no, that's it. Okay. So once you're done with that, make your, make your way over to this door, the one that has a hatch above it and just goss cannon into it. And goss cannon again to get this thing grab it then walk backwards down and in here then make your way to the yellow door get a pocket torso because everyone needs a pocket torso for all your torso needs and whatnot anyway keep on going this way again until you get to the red the red side you can pick up ammo right here and when you need to well when you can go up to this like eye scanner use your pocket torso for your needs and uh we're gonna walk in there in a second so this is a bfg skip 
which would get uh, we just get right into it and grab it so I'm gonna do this is a pretty interesting way to do it so stay on the second on the second uh, step look at the middle way or well, the middle dot like right there and then just jump back and I <laughs> I messed up I did that way too way too early so um, the way to do it is by like walking backwards and jumping and then Gauss cannon it's a very very tough strat but once you get it it's not too bad you may mess up a couple times just be in the middle here yeah like that so yeah walk backwards shoot and then yeah walk backwards jump and shoot like that you all have my no my no board uh thing so i looked up how to use that so just for the skip for the uh, setup so and the uh, tutorial so anyway um, don't use a BFG on this room. Just shoot the uh, explosive barrels and kill everything. There is a new, so if you all know any percent, there is a new skip that skips this room by going through this area and you skip to my, well, me and my friend Creeper Hunters skip called the ARC skip, which skips the fight. We are still gonna be using the ARC skip. We're gonna be doing my way instead of the new way because actually you can't even do the old, well, the new way because you have to go through this room. And the only reason why this room is open is because of the uh, um, all the zombies being killed. So once you're done with that, Goss boost all the way over here. I would just take out your super shotgun, shoot one like that, and then shoot the next away from them. And then these guys are going to spawn in. I usually do this, where I kill one of these like that, and then just use a chainsaw for the next one. So I quickly dispose of the pinkies, and then have a bunch of zombies to be able to uh, use for my skip. So I'm gonna pause this so I can explain something. So this skip is very difficult because of the angle you're at. It is a glory kill skip on a column, but you have to kill the pinkies first. I've seen people on, <laughs> on their stream try to do it while the pinkies are alive and it never works. Do not try it without killing the pinkies, as well as the lost souls. It will be a very, very terrible time for you and you will not like it at all. Anyway, I'm gonna get these guys away from me a little bit, just so I can keep on like spanning shoot on them until one of them prevails. And then I'm gonna get them to this corner. Actually, I'm gonna get them away, a little bit away from me. So. We're going to that corner over there, and I'm specifically getting him to a, a certain spot. And actually, this guy may, may be a problem, but right when he crosses this line, move out of the way, because that means that he's already over there. So I'm not sure I can kill this guy. I just gotta need him. And when he's in, when he's got his back turned, oh crap! I got stuck in the wall. So, like I said, this this is a very very hard skip. So, um, I'm just getting them to move, and then right when they're gonna attack me, I make sure I get out of the way and get so I can shoot them so their back will be against the wall. So right when they cross this line, they'll be ready to be uh, hit. So like this. So yeah, hit them in the back. Do not jump, apparently. Just do that. And once you're in, you may get stuck right there. Just keep on like wiggling, wiggling yourself in, and you'll get out of the bounds. If you see the, like this corner area, then you're out of bounds. So when you're over here, we're gonna want to jump down and you're gonna die if you just fall. So we're gonna kind of like, just kind of bounce in and out of bounds like this. So just watch how I do this. And walk into this, this uh, wall right here. So I actually kind of messed up a little bit, but just keep on like, if you're on this area, then just keep on uh, like nudging up against the back of, the, of this wall because it'll for some reason like survive. And uh, when you're down here, like from the side, walk down to the the, uh, the this uh, yeah the button, and we're looking at a, we're gonna be looking at it for like a line. It's kind of an invisible line, but you'll, once you start stream, well, once you start speedrunning this, you'll definitely start seeing it a lot more. Um, so you see those little white like uh, slashes. That's where the line starts at the end of that. And we're looking at this uh, like hexagon right there. So aim your reticle kind of where like that line is where it like, kind of just barely meets it and you see that the, these two dots kind of line up to that line as well. Right there, get up and then like slowly move over there and then you should have it. So right there. 
And there you go. And yep, that is all secrets for ARC. Anyway, I will see you all for, um, uh, what's the next? Oh yeah, Lazarus. Yes, Lazarus is very fun. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and congratulations for getting through ARC. Bye.